nothing changes. You never started You once destroyed A broken heart that was already shattered Holding on to what we have to take us to the edge and back Holding on to what we have to take us to the edge and back
Ten seconds remaining. Hello, hello. Yep, sorry for the delays Five in getting the draft remaining. started. Well, we have here our first series BGJ Thunder versus IG Vitality. I was just, you know, clarifying some things of the schedule because um, it's a bit confusing as I have to look at two different platforms only to realize I had the wrong schedule. But alright, I'd like to welcome you all to the Beyond the Summit 2 channel for our coverage here of the Dota 2 Professional League 2018. Of course, this will be the Chinese region. <coughs> IG Vitality versus VGJ Thunder, our first best of two. And here we are already basically almost done with the second phase of the draft, as you guys can see. So here it is. Sand King, Gyrocopter, Warlock, and Tylenter. And on VGJ Thunder's side, you have the Tusk, Tiny, and the Bane. So interesting, bit of an interesting fact for you guys. You, you see here the stand-in, Miracle, the Singaporean player, the guy who used to play for First Departure. He played for Mineski. He had a stint with Fnatic as well. And Miracle actually tried out for VGJ Thunder a few months back. So in, in a way, you know, obviously he didn't make it. Otherwise, he'd be playing with them now. So you could think of it this way, it's a bit of a, would, it, would you actually call it a grudge match? More like, hey, he's about to prove them wrong, right? And so far he's been playing very, I would say he's fitting quite nicely, especially with the team. So I'm interested to see how, you know, Miracle is going to do against a team such as VGJ Thunder, who has played on the international level. Obviously playing, uh, you know, minors in the DPC. Getting himself some na some nice points, I believe. Of course, winning to some tournaments of their own. So this is going to be fun. And there we go. In the draft of the VGJ Thunder, picking up the Tuscar, Tiny, Bane, and the Monkey King. You have to love the Bane. Bane and Tiny is a one hell of a killer duo. You just sleep into the setup. Seconds, a stun, avalanche combo. Lots of damage output. And of course, you have the one annoying hero Five and the Monkey King. Remaining. Which actually... You know, I have to point out that it's only the Chinese region which still utilizes the Monkey King very often. In the Southeast Asian region, you do see it a bit more, but... Or not, or it's just a bit less, but kind of in the frequency where usually it's the Filipino teams which pick that hero up. Alright, I forgot to introduce myself. Haiti is only from Singapore, so... Hope you guys are enjoying the cast so far. Okay, well, have a night. Hope your Saturday is going well. And thank you all for tuning in. So, pretty much this game, I... I would say the DPS has been very surprising so far, right? Because it's the best of two, we tend to see a lot of draws. Remaining. Because usually to these Chinese teams, they tend to see this Five as something as remaining. a bit something very similar to proper scrims. But right now, with stakes on the line, which will be the winner of the DPL, I believe qualifies for the MDL major. I believe, I, if I'm not mistaken, that is the case. So obviously, you can see you no know, lots of points there. And the prestige of qualifying for a good tournament. But Ten so far, I have to say, IG Vitality, their draft is looking extremely scary team fight wise. You know, Sand King, Gyro, Warlock, and Tidenter, and VGJ Thunder, if you try to match IGV in a 5v5, I, I don't feel very, you know, very safe. So it looks like it's going to be a tiny mid, a doom off lane Ten with the monkey in the safe. Or oh, this could actually be a doom going into a 1 on 1 matchup with. Against Five the Thailand seconds too. remaining. Which should mean a Monkey King going into a uh, uh, aggro trilin, potentially an aggro trilin with the Bane and the Tusk, right? You just set up good. Yeah, very, it's very easy to get the Jingo Mastery stacks cut. Sleep, Shard, Snowball, bang. More than enough. Way more than enough. Alright, so VGJ Thunder, Doom against Thailand. I, I feel like that should kind of be the matchup. It's quite favorable to us to do. Tyler, of course, you know, he's going to have a bit of an edge when it comes to last hit wise, considering he has Anchor Smash. But I have to point out that Doom, you have to, have to synergize very well. Like, you ideally want to use the ultimate on either the Titan or the Warlock, but there's just so much team fight, right? You have your Chaotic Offering, Call Down, Ravage, Epicenter. Every single one of these heroes on the side of IG Vitality screams team fight. If you group up, Warlock's Fatal Bonds is just going to tear you apart. You may now select so the Life Stealer comes out. Huh. Yeah, this is actually going to be a Gyrocopter mid. Sakata is playing the Gyrocopter mid. This is something which we start to see a bit more. 
which I'm not I'm not even surprised. So the gyrocopter mid is also quite strong. It feels like teams are starting to utilize it a bit better. So it's going to be the Miracle Lifestealer. And the Miracle Lifestealer, this is something we've seen before. I'm not sure if you guys remember all the way back where we had a bit of a... I believe when you were still playing Minescu, right? That was back with Ninja Boogie, RR, Raging Potato, and Jules. So that was the, that was the first time you know, he played that. I, I think the Reddit was memeing, memeing about it. You buy Radiant, Mata Star on this hero. You play like a Naga, and like... Yeah, I know, the Naga god doesn't get to play Naga, so every other hero starts to look... Slowly look like a Naga. So even this... Undead looking hero somehow turns into a fish. And anyways, that should be our draft. And for those of you asking about the DPL ticket, well, bit of a bug. So, they don't have a DPL ticket, apparently. So, just going to use this just for the sake of it, right? Alright, alright, alright. So, that is our draft complete. And I'm, I'm excited, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm excited. Especially with BGJ Thunder versus IGV. Because from what I understand, IGV, they've been pretty much owning in scrims. But scrims are scrims. It's never going to be the same as the actual tournament experience. There's no way you can replicate that. Alright, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. VGJ Thunder versus IGV. Vitality. So game Prepare 1. There's DDC battle. playing on the Bane. Yang on the Doom. You will have Fade playing on the Tusk. Freeze on the Tiny. And you have Silar playing on the Monkey King. Alright, I'm surprised because usually I've seen him play at mid. And then over here on the dire side for IG Vitality, you have Dogfights on the Sand King, Miracle playing on the Lifestealer, Super on the Warlock, Sakata playing on the Gyrocopter, and you will have In July playing on the Tide Hunter. Alright, so uh, let's, let's see how this goes. Right now, we're just kind of wandering a bit into the enemy jungle. You see Miracle, he's alone with Super. Has to be careful. Does get the work down anyway. Thirty seconds to battle. So in July, just kind of wandering a bit inside first. I mean, so far, let's talk about like the laning phase. How's this going to go for both teams, right? So the laning phase, I would sort of favorite just a bit the VGJ Thunder, just because I like the Bane and Monkey King picks. The battle begins. And no way he's stealing that bounty rune. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit ooh, three for one rune. They actually get three runes. Backing out of it. I like the emphasis here on the dwell lanes. Dogfight is gonna help in July out, which is trying to go for maximum efficiency. So how are you guys doing all the way in chat? Singapore is very hot. Uh, if you guys happen to hear some construction noise in the background, that's just... Yeah, they're building a train station outside my place. So I do apologize in advance for the sound. And Silar, ooh, gonna bump into a lot. They have the Bar Strike as well, bringing Silar very low. 100 HP. The Nightmare's gonna come out. Silar's just gonna tango up immediately, but Angelai says, I don't really care. Top lane seeing a bit of a trade. Super and Miracle. Miracle will be... Probably playing to look to try just to get basic levels in last hits, not so much in trying to get kills. Super, of course, will spam out that shadow heal to try and bring down the annoying Doom. Let's look at the middle lane. How's Freeze doing against Gyro? He's actually winning in terms of EXP wise. 4 and 4, Gyro's 3 and 1. And of course, you have superior base damage on the Tiny as well. In the laning so far, it looks pretty smooth. Although, could have been a bit better, right? For Silo, you kind of wish it was a bit better. This hero doesn't exactly have the strongest laning presence. Radiance you know, Sakata's lane will be fortified. very, very pushed in behind his tier 1. Over here in the bottom, you know, Monkey King has been... In the, like, one of the reasons why you don't usually see this hero picked up that often is usually because this hero has kind of like weak, weak laning phase in a sense. He's strong, like, don't get me wrong, he fights extremely well, but when his Jingu Mastery and his Boundless Strike are nerfed... Yeah, that was, that was the gone of the days of the super OP monkey. I mean, if you guys remember when this hero first came out, everyone was like, Ooh, 
This hero jumps in trees. We're gonna pick 10% and counter this guy. Only did you realize that this guy basically one hits. Or two hits, yeah, yeah, two hits the timber saw and like. We'll cut this after getting one Jigu Mastery proc. Dark uh, fight, actually, Burrow Striking Ray. Oh, but the nightmare to can So, not the brain sap to cancel the region rune. Sneaky, sneaky play. Tiny details which can make your game just a bit more annoying. Sometimes you want to get extra you know, 100 HP, right? Of course, as Silar starts to pick up the levels as well, this is not the hero you want to get too up close and personal with, if you know what I mean. So they've actually decided to, to, to still keep up with the rolling, but not much they can do. The Brawl Strike comes out, they have the Caustic Finale, but nothing for them to actually do around here. Meanwhile, over the top, you know, Yang, he has been left alone to his alone time, not getting the score stuff yet, but middle lane, we might see a bit of a 2v1. Let's fade. Waiting for Sakata. Maybe if he had stayed around just at that block of stairs, might have died. You see Yang, he's just freaking miracle quite low. He's like, alright, I don't actually care. Of course, with the feast, he does regenerate a bit of that HP back, which he lost. But bottom tri lane, scary stuff. They're very quick to identify as well. The, one of the supports is off the map, and they make the call. I like this. Barshrike comes in, they want to try and turn, but oh, the snowball save. Can they get Silar putting the Titan to sleep? Like he's still gonna hold his ground. The Jingu Mastery procs are there. He's gonna find it up. The Bar Strike Bang! First blood going to DDC. So like he's just gonna regenerate all of that HP back up. All the six tangles already burnt out as well. Thanks. Meanwhile, middle lane still. Favoring the tiny, like I'm not, I'm not really surprised about this. He freeze, he's gonna try and toss someone back all the way to wait in tower range. Ooh, freeze! Oh, Sakata! Wow. Okay, I did not see that coming, but what a solo kill here coming out from the tiny. Smart play to actually toss the gyrocopter back to the range creep in tower range, leading to that first blood kill. Sneaky play, and now I'm I'm learning new things. Like for me, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try doing. It. I'm gonna try that pups. It's gonna cost me a few games, but I'm gonna try it. It's fun. So two and zero going the way of VGJ Thunder and IG Vitality. Well, Lifestealer actually chooses to go for Shreds this game. Might even think about going here for a solo kill. Maybe not. The Doom will salve out. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, they actually do get the return kill on to fade. As Sakata will be healed up. Has to go for the raindrop this game because of the nuke damage out from the tiny. But because they're splitting up the EXP, you know, Freeze, he's gonna out level that gyrocopter very easily. They need to kill him at least two more times in this lane to get the gyrocopter back up with the level advantage. Mino, dogfights hitting top. Looking for that bar strike. They're pinging it out. They see the miracles pushing out the wave. They should kind of suspect that, hey, a hero's off the map. Constantly keeping the layer shaft out. Dog fights. He's found the hero. He's found Yang. Can he get the bar strike? Yes, he can. He needs to tr try for the body blocks. Yang will get the infernal blade out with the stun. So he will just run to the shrine and that'll be a bit of a waste of time. But middle lane. Alright, there we go. Looking for the toss back. Actually, we'll find it all the way back to the toss guy who walked all the way back to the tower with the shard block. Sakata says that having the worst lane of his life. And down he goes one more time. 21 to 5 now on this CS chart. 31 to 16 on freeze. Big advantage. And meanwhile, Sylar will enjoy his bottom lane farm. 36 and 13. And IGV. They are doing well. Bottom Miracle still playing around in this top. He has to be careful once the Doom gets 6. That could be a very different scenario. And we'll probably be heading back to that shrine. Do you see? Wandering into the wrong neighborhood. Oh, they've got no more stuns, they can't kill him, and he's just gonna go for the TP out. Nice and safe. And VGJ Thunder having a much better time. Middle lane, we're gonna see one more time as they try to go for the kill here on Sakata. Homing missile flying out, so... Nope, looks like they will not get the kill. Actually getting the TP mid, forced out. I'll take your tribute. 
it's hard. You know, you're six minutes in, seven minutes in, but it's a 3,000 gold advantage already going the way of VGJ Thunder. They have a very significant lead. The stronger lanes, like I said, just because of the Bane pick. The setup is just too strong. They have so many ways to set up these kills. And yeah, Freeze is extremely talented player. Silar still has yet to decide whether he'll be building to a Battle Fury build. Ah, oh, dog. It'll late actually. Can they get the kill here to freeze? I don't think so. He's level 7. Warlock needs to be careful. Ooh. Every time he tr he throws that, that tree, you know. I believe there's like about a good over 100 of damage. 6 stuff, strong hero. And super, they will have to play catch up gaming. IGB, very quick to identify this, but from the nature of their draft, just the heroes alone, it's very hard to try and fight VGJ Thunder, at least in the early levels. But perhaps th towards the mid game, they will have a slightly bigger advantage. Invisibility. So, 8 minutes in, 3 and 1. Let's see. Will they try for a play here? There is an Invision on the Gyrocopter. Could think about making a rotation to the bottom lane. They could try to go here on Scylla. It's a very big kill. Huge bounty as well. And yeah, it looks like he will be heading straight to the bottom lane. Even killing off a support, but they use the scan. Oh, they know. They put the sentry down immediately. They, I think they saw him, Sakata. He probably was paying attention to DDC as well. He had a daytime vision. So he's figured he's wasted his time. He's going straight for the TP out to the top lane. They want to kill. They want to help Miracle out. Can he get the infest? He doesn't have infest. He's doomed up. Should be dying here. If they can just get one more hit in. He needs another hit. Oh, they get the deny. As the Kata's going to be chasing down Yang. Yang's juking around inside the trees. Has the TP out as well. He's actually going to get out. Meanwhile, Scylar over in the bottom lane getting the killer into dogfights. As the Kata getting the deny was big enough. Which means you've wasted the ultimate onto the Doom. And this is why I said once the Doom is level 6, if you're a Miracle, you have to play safe. So 4 to 1. And BJJ Thunder are running away with the laning Dyer's phase as we start to enter the mid game. To that guy in the chat who is spamming the N word, I highly suggest you stop while I'm going back. You know, Super actually almost dying. Ooh, actually, well died to freeze. Tree. Tree grab, yep. You know, if, you, if you're a support, if you guys are support players in the chat, you know, you, you hate the spell. Like, you hate it to the max. 127% bonus damage onto buildings. 40% extra bonus damage. And as it is, you know, Tiny does a ton. Strong stuff. Oh, DDC may have just found Dog. Looking for the Sandstorm play. In July is there to back him up. So now that the Doom is used, you know, Miracle can afford to play just a tiny bit more aggressive. As Doom will start to build on the drums. Jaren needs his next item before he can even think about clearing stacks. But here comes Freeze with a haste rune. He's gonna go straight into Sand King. This toss coming in, finding one. Oh, and then nice snowball into two. There comes the chaotic offering, landing only onto one. Actually, three. Tanata will be slept, doesn't even have Ravage Fate. Can't die. The gush will not connect. As Freeze, they will be the ones to win away with that one lovely kill. Finding one, tossing in. Oh, he's gonna put someone to sleep. No, he finds the Kata. Call down to come out. Doesn't have the mana. He's trying to bait him out. Should be able to. Has the one charge. Just doesn't want to risk it. Shots going there, blocking up Sakata. And 7 to 1. VGJ Thunder. And freezes. He doesn't appear that fat, but net worth wise, he's on the top. No, he's got Treads, Aquila. He's got Wand as well. Oh, the toss in. They want to trap the kill here. They've got Sakata. Do they have the mana? They have the mango. Getting a few right clicks in, and they will use it. Just spank him down. They'll whack, whack him down with that big tree. Jaro did not like that tree. The power of the tiny in the bin. Called it from the draft. One of the Dyer's most killer duos out there. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Silar looking to get a bit mischievous with this monkey king. And so far, they're getting, they're making all the right moves. Dogfights, does he know that fate is there? Yang is pushing out the wave. They have to doom up, I believe. 
the brush that comes in, they could think about using it. But they don't want to die without the creep wave. You know, Miracle, he's taken straight to the jungle. Actually, going for Nacula himself. What have we here? Super, that was his chaotic offering used, and they couldn't Dyer's get any combat kills from that. So far, the way VGJ Thunder are playing, they're just stepping up the pace of the game, which means IGV, if you you know, your, your long cooldowns are not working out. That's how VGJ just exploit these cooldowns, and they're playing extremely well. They still have to do. And right now, if you're IGV, you don't want to think, you, you don't want to take a fight. You just kind of want to try to split up the map, gather some resources. You force VGJ Thunder to split up, and then you group up. But it looks like they will try anyways. They found the Doom. Can they go on him? They will go for it. Popping the infest and the rage, everything comes out. The rage will so the duo will come on now. It looks like Miracle on the hunt as fate. The shark block. He's gonna hold his ground. He's gonna right kick away. Super not able to save his carry and that carry will die this time. Freeze just clubbing everyone down. Tiny is gonna be caught up, toss him into the air with the warrior's punch, freeze with the double. And he's 7-0-1. This is the this is the the nightmare of our dreams. Radiant are scanning. Right, Shari coming in, blocking out Super. They're just diving behind tier 2s with the toss, and they will right click Super down. Fade getting himself another kill, 11 to 1. Four heroes. Big stuff. And Fade, of course, with just TP back, even getting a ward behind the tier 2 tower. Meanwhile, at the bottom lane, Monkey King almost on that battle free. Not really there just yet, but he's gonna try in. Oh, I think he's just messed up. Brownless Strike is there. The Gush is connected. Should be enough for Dog Fights to catch up with the Burrow Strike. It will connect. Call down flies out as well. He's gonna hold this ground. Ravage coming up to stop him from channeling that Wukong's command. And Sakata will get the kill. Get that very, very big kill. He needed that desperately. 300 gold flying to his pocket. Drums almost complete. So 9,000 gold advantage, 14 minutes, and this game is looking very scary. So I guess you could say VGJ so far, they are right, and Miracle's left, right? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And Tusk already on an urn, getting all these very sneaky wards. Look at their vision on the map. They control so much of the map right now. With all the tier 1 towers down, they see so much. And IG Vitality, even though they have these defensive wards, not in a position to do anything. Okay, hold on. I need to do the spectator thing again. Oh my attack. god, where's the fog before? Holy shit. I'm so sorry, guys. There we go. Anyways, we're trying to go to Sakata here. Uh, chaotic offering landing onto two, but will not get the chaotic offering to come in. Putting someone to sleep. Gyrocopter. Dogfight wants up. In July, doesn't have to ravage. They want to try and turn around to DDC, and they actually will get themselves one kill. Maybe not. DDC is still alive. Popping the one charges. They cannot kill him. Not at all. The Fiend script. Miracles caught out. Dogfights. Nothing to do. He's going to channel the epicenter. It's going back in. Burrow strike onto two. Found the strike is there. And actually, no one's dying. Just how is no one dying on the side of VGJ Thunder? Three heroes dead. VGJ walking around. They get the avalanche. They cancel Super's TP. And they have to figure out now that there is a ward. Super's gonna walk around, finding himself among all the heroes of VGJ Thunder. And I can tell you, there is a storm coming. And IG Vitality are not ready for this. In July, will try to taunt his way away from Yang. We'll hunt him down. He have enough damage, and Yang will get himself a kill. Full team wide, 16 to 2 with 12,000 gold lead going the way of VGJ. Very fast. And they actually called the GG 15 minutes in. Quickest game of the DPL thus far happening here as the Doom was basically Doom creep and swallow his pride. Very quick game here coming out between VGJ Thunder versus IG Vitality and what a game that Wow. Yeah that escalated a lot quicker than I thought. I did not see that coming. And th their draft is just not ready for this in any way. But this is this is just Freeze outplaying Sakata. It almost feels like you know, Sakata is not comfortable playing on the Gyrocopter mid. I actually thought it was going to be a Miracle Hero. Their draft just wanted to basically snowball off the lanes and just five in a group up, win all these team fights and stuff. So, alright, alright. That was game one, ladies and gentlemen.
thank you all for tuning in. We'll be back very, very shortly for game two. Of course, if you have any feedback for me, do let me know at Hades.tv or you can give me a follow on my Twitch channel as well, twitch.tv slash Hades Dota. I'll see you guys for game two. Don't go anywhere.
Hello, hello, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And we have your game two between IG Vitality versus VGJ Thunder. So, yeah, we're into the second phase of the draft already. Yep, I'd like to thank all of Five you, the few hundreds of you remaining. tuning in on the Beyond the Summit 2 channel. I do appreciate you guys tuning in. And it's been nice interacting with you guys. For those of you who don't know me, Hades is all the way from Singapore. And VGJ Thunder winning game one in extremely quick fashion, I guess. They haven't had lunch yet, and they're probably rushing so they can make it in time. I mean, it's 2.46 here in Singapore. Not sure what time it is for you guys tuning in from where? I understand one of you is from Seattle, Mr. Hypes. And, yeah. Here we are. Well, IG Vitality, Tusk, Gyro, Tiny, and ET. I have a feeling this could actually end up becoming a Miracle Tiny. Because so far, we've seen a Gyro played by Sakata, right? That's the S. And VGJ Thunder, Sand King, Ten Nature's Prophet, remaining. Jakiro, and Razor. Don't worry, guys. This is not the, the misery Nature's remaining. Prophet. I know there was a period of time where people like this. Oh, Jungle Nature's Prophet. I'm going to be five. And then you're like, what the hell? I mean, kind of reminiscent towards that, I don't know, the, the terribly support. Anything could work in Dota, right, guys? So, Razor. I like the core so far. Like, VGJ Thunder. They've, you know, like, they probably identified. If you guys have watched some of the previous IGV games, maybe not just the previous one, but also the ones from the day before yesterday, that's where you see IGV there, a team they like to play very early on. Radio. VGJ happens to be able to match them in that aspect. So at the same time, it's a clash on who, you know, who sprints first. Also, at the same time, Ten seconds remaining. they're very strong lane laning heroes, right? Good team fight, good pickup potential, global presence. IG Vitality remaining. do not have that option. So, poop, poop, poop. And yes, okay, waiting for the last picks, but I like the band so far, right? Like, IG Vitality, strangely enough, they actually take out the Juggernaut, expecting a Razor mid. So, if it's a Razor mid, this could actually be a Gyrocopter safe thing. It should be a tiny mid for Sakata. And. Pretty straightforward. Nature's Prophet can be playing the off lane. He can also be playing the safe lane. Kind of like what some teams have tried to experiment with. Right, so let's see how this goes. Final pick, what do they need? I actually feel like VGJ Thunder needs someone who can tank up. Preferably a, t a Razor safe lane would be okay. That's a solo laner. With the Jakiro and you could put a DK. Dragon Knight here would be extremely good. It is a Scylar hero. Not too late to pick up that Shadow Fiend, but I feel Shadow Fiend would be a horrible pick going to this IGV draft. Like ET Tuscar, right? Or. Hmm. What could this be? What could this be? It's not too late to actually run a tiny L ET offlane. You still could put the Gyro safe or mid. So IGV have these options available to them in terms of the draft. I mean, Miracle joining IGV, he, I would say he's fitting quite well. It's just about figuring out the play style, right? Like when you first join a team. I know it doesn't seem like it, but I have a, a bit of experience in this, in, in this aspect. So, like, you know, for example, at TI, when Arteezy was talking about how when you, you join a team, you want to find players who can complement each other. It's not just about finding five stars. It takes time to build that kind of cohesion, that kind of synergy, knowing what each player is going to do what, their habits, playing with each other more, just scrimming with each other, just practicing. It's going to drastically improve or significantly improve how the team plays, like even experimenting. You could also call this like an experimental phase for IGV as they're developing their play style. Like this is their, ch this is their story. Team Compared to VGJ Thunder where these guys, they've IGV's played for a while together now. To pick. And of course, when you have a coach like ROTK, there's no doubt that they've identified, you know, what they want to do. So, Queen of Pain, mid, 
it will actually be a Razor in the safe lane. Looks like. Unless they do decide to put the Queen of Pain safe in Razor mid. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, don't don't mind Five this. It's supposed to be 2018. Remaining. Don't worry. This is not a rerun, guys. You're watching you're watching this live. Don't worry about it. Alright, so let's see. Monkey King ban. I mean, Mirko can play Monkey King as well, as long as it has a Battle Free or a Radiance, he, he's going to excel in that hero. I mean, I do miss the days when he used to play lots of fun stuff, like, I mean, he I think he was one of the first. Way before even the Chinese scene developed, like, tried it, he played, when Legion Commander first came out, Mirko was one of the first to play Legion Commander mid. Like, he was good. Like, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, I was quite sad that Kyle left call as well. I was kicked from call, whatever. But I'm excited for Kyle. I, I'm like, sometimes you have to break something to create something new. That's the way it happens. Especially in Dota 2, right? We've seen some heroes. You had to Knights nerf them so that other heroes hero. could rise. I'm pretty sure, like, you guys might remember the, the sniper troll meta, right? You, you guys were so desperate for that to this end. Or even that split push meta. Remember the Death Prophet, TI4? The TI which should never have happened, as some would say, Kappa. But yeah, Night Stalker coming out for in July. It's going to be an offlane Night Stalker. Some teams, they do that, but it's very rare. But okay, actually, it's going to be, yeah, Sakata on the Tiny. It's going to be the Miracle safe. And yeah, it was kind of expected that Sakata will be playing the Tiny mid. Especially when they banned out here. You know, you saw, the, you saw the Razor, but it's going to be a bit of a tough call. It's never too late. Nonetheless, Queen of Pain should do pretty decent. So let's see how this goes. E I don't know, from the laning phase right here, I still kind of favor like VGJ Thunder to do pretty okay. You know what's the scary part here? It is actually a support nature's profit. If you have noticed, DDC has picked up the NP. So they're going to do something very similar to what EG has done. So it actually feels like they've kind of figured out what they want to do in this draft here. But yeah, to touch on what Hiff said, yeah, Kyle's, he's a very charismatic guy. I was lucky enough to meet him at ESL Genting. We had Korean barbecue basically like almost every single day. Um, fun in the games, drinking games. Went back to the hotel for a bit with everyone. Prepare it was fun, it was fun. Battle. Like, I sincerely wish Kyle the best, wh whichever team he's playing with next. Although rumor is he might make a team with Rez Rezo. Alright, so introducing VGJ Thunder, Silar on the Razor, you have DDC on the Nature's Prophet, Freeze on the Queen of Pain, Fade on the Sand King, you have Yang playing on the Jakiro. For the Dire Side IGV, can they pull this back in game 2? Send them your energy. Dogfights playing on the Tuscar, you have Super on the ET, Sakata playing actually on the Gyrocop to mid again, Miracle playing on the Tiny, and you will have Inchlai playing on the Night Stalker. So, once again, you know, he's going to be playing on this Gyrocopter despite being, getting shot on in the previous game. And yeah, I I do not feel happy right now if I'm Sakata because it's a very weird laning matchup, right? But yeah, they were probably just trying to avoid the possibility that you would have seen the Tiny going up against the Razor mid. But nonetheless, I feel Jaro would do kind of sad against Queen of Pain. Okay, so if you guys watched the E-Home DPL game the other day, Ying, their new mid player, who they swapped out with Old Chicken, who went to Kiki in gaming. What he does is he maxes Shadow Strike here, or not does max him, puts it to level 3. He doesn't actually go for the Scream of Pain. So, it, way stronger laning presence, and if you do that, if Freeze is about to replicate that skill build, it's starting to pick up in the Chinese region actually. Like, you just max up the Shadow Strike, it's very, very hard to lane against that guy. Good remain. It's a dogfight, smoked up, already looking for the courier's time. I actually feel he's he might get this one. If you guys don't know, Tuscar can snipe the courier, you just sharp block it. He's gonna get it. Oh, in this case, he won't even need to. So that's gonna be the salve denied. Freeze, losing that salve. In July, happy over here in the bottom lane. Should be doing okay. As you can see, Super is gonna try and cut the creep wave though. So troubles, but over top lane, Miracle going up solo against Yang. He's not gonna have a good time, especially with the Jakiro there. 
milling. Dog fights. Actually, they're bringing freeze super low. He will be forced to pop his tango and branch already. Silar. I yeah, this matchup, they could leave him solo as well. Which they might. But this DDC Nature's Prophet though, support Nature's Prophet guys. Yeah, be be very afraid. Dog fights don't going to be in a pain. He has to blink the snowball is dead. One try. Where is he going? All the way to China. Okay, the shots, but the fairy fire, he's gonna hold his ground. The tier two first blood going to freeze. And meanwhile, top lane, Fade, they get Miracle as well. Super is coming to try and help him out. Fade gonna try and tango his way out of this. He pops his wand charges. He's gonna burst strike to the low ground. He's gonna be okay. The Astral Spirit will not be enough to finish off the Sand King. The dog fights, actually, they've caught the dragon. Miracle does not like Game of Thrones. Very easy kill. I don't know my own strength. I'll take your tribute. Too bad. Alright, so minimum two to one. Invisibility. And dog fights. Let's see. I mean, uh, I like the Tuscar pick. Right? This is a very stable four. He can do so much. Well, let's compare like this matchup so far between Gyro and the Queen of Pain. Because of the first blood given away earlier on, and with the support babysitting this Gyro mid, he's actually behind in AXP compared to the Queen of Pain. It would have been okay if the Tusk did not die, because he overextended trying to get that first blood. He ended up giving an advantage to the Queen of Pain instead. So that situation was salvaged. With DDC, with that invis rune, he's gonna wait behind Sakata. Was hoping for a courier to come on the way, but looks like he will not get it and will probably jungle just a tiny bit. So one of the things I feel is very crucial if you're ever gonna play, like if you guys ever get tempted to try the Nature's Prophet jungle support thingy, you need to make sure that you have support, you know, of course, who can lane, like by themselves. Heroes like DK, you know, heroes like... Or even a juggernaut. But over here in the top lane, we're gonna see a lot of action. Miracle might get body blocked here by the treants. If they're gonna try it, they will get the stomp out onto the nature's prophet. But Yang still chasing down Miracle, hunting him down to the trees, the tree and block, and Yang will get the kill onto Miracle, making it a three to one on the kill score. Lots of pressure here, and in July, because he's playing on this Night Stalker, they already expect that Razor would have an advantage. Self-sustaining here, 19 to 8. Very strong. And Freeze is doing okay for himself, 13 to 4 compared to the 13 1. And that's when you had the Tuskar coming mid to try and bully him out of the lane. Got it. So good stuff, good stuff. But so far, nothing much happening for now. Perhaps IG Vitality will actually be bullied back in return to seeing if they will actually be the ones to try and play defensive now on counter-reactive, right? And Sila, of course, playing a bit careful. I'm pretty sure he expects that a support will be rotating to the bottom pretty soon. Although, I'm not sure if the Night Stalker and Dogfights will be enough to kill him. Dog is here. Shard block, they have the snowball as well. Should be able to target him off very soon. DDC is coming as well to try and save him. They have the bar strike. Snowball's coming, but the bar into in July already gets killed with the void. Trying to chase some heroes down. They might think about going here into DDC. Fade doesn't have mana for another three seconds. They have the wand charges. You want to try and go into dogfight? He's going to go for the shard block. Fade has the bar strike, will find himself a kill. So a one for one trade. In July is trying to go for the return kill here onto DDC. Should be able to, and he will just club him down. Be able to run away. Pretty good, pretty good. Brow Strike's gonna miss. And over here in the top, they do not have the mana going. Oh, Miracle, he's gonna try to commit for this kill. Maybe not. With the Liquid Fire, will be enough with the Dual Breath as well. Miracle is gonna try and turn around, but the one shot does know the attack slow from the Liquid Fire. Yeah, public service announcement. If you guys are ever playing Jakira support, I mean, I love playing this here on Solo MMR, especially in C, right? Try not to go fire spell. Try not to. Like, unless the situation calls for it. Max your dual breath out. It's a five. Even if you're playing as a five, right? You just clear camps so quick. You stack for yourself, and you're a very farmed greedy pause five who can actually do a lot and still get farmed. And not to mention Jakira's great at taking towers, and he's a tanky support. 
So I love this hero. In July, going for a few hits here into Scylla with the Void. Losing 21 of his damage, but not much as dogfight. They may think about going here onto Scylla. They have the snowball, but the bar strike onto one more time. Super is here to try and save the day. Looking for the snowball, bringing him actually away to the creeps. Not wanting to overextend, but then they have to realize that Freeze is coming in. Doesn't have a blink for three seconds. They're pinging him out because of... I don't know, is that Void? No, that's his Void. But they should know, right? Like, because Sakata is just farming out the middle lane. Radiance middle tower is under attack. gonna build his way into the hood of defiance. Bottom lane looks like this is where the party is gonna be at. So you leave Yang to it's actually an off lane Jakiro. I thought it was gonna be an off lane Sanking, but alright. Oh this works as well, like I like the off lane Jakiro. Attack slow does very well with the throw breath. You know, Miracle can't exactly lean too strongly against this dragon. And he just sidesteps the avalanche. Over here in the bottom lane, the stomp landing onto two. They want to try for the return kill here onto Scylar if they can only kill this core. But here comes the Sonic with the snowball dodge. What a play coming out here from Dogfight. The brush strike comes out. It's okay, they will still claim the kills, but that was pretty to look at, anyways. Dogfight's gonna hold his ground, trying to force him to fight into the call down. Double kill. And Fade already with the double, the support sanking. Going to be halfway towards that blink dagger. And a two for one trade as that favors VGJ Thunder with a huge flurry of rotations coming to the bottom lane. And Miracle is struggling in this lane for sure. 33 today to 36 and 5 on this Jakiro. And he's actually surpassing Miracle in net worth. Miracle not having a favorable matchup, something which he's probably not too comfortable with. But like I said, this is where the party is at. The Nature's Prophet has been doing okay. Not say super. But he's 1300 net worth. He's the pause 5 of the team. Doesn't even have boots. But hey, whatever, right? And this, meanwhile, at this rate, you know, Yang, he's going to be able to just pressure this tower. Good matchup. Good matchup. And Silar, yup, he's overextended. Get the stomp as well with the shard block. Silo will have to accept his fate, although he will try to wiggle his way out, not able to. And that'll be one pick off here for IG Vitality. As meanwhile, in the bottom, so the minute we're in the top lane, they find Young. The avalanche is there. They will try to kill the dragon, tossing him up into the air with the homing missile. Miracle getting himself that nice, tasty dragon kill. So finally, killing off the THD. And when you lose two heroes like that, IGV are picking up some momentum for themselves. Mr. Carter will just clear up some camps. As this flat cannon can turn into it. I like seeing Jakiro here stacks. Who's the lucky support who gets the gold though? But Super will lap up some EXP in the middle lane. Happy to get that level 6. The next time he gets level 6, his stomps have been landing. Like, one of the biggest reasons why ET is so successful is because in the Chinese region, right, when you're 5v5, you get a stomp, even as like two heroes. The radius for that spell is so large, it's easy setup for the Gyrocopter and the Earth Spitter. But Miracle and Dogfights, will they try to go here onto the Razor? Yang is here as well, there's two big cores. Not the easiest kills. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Shard just to try and trap somebody, but now they know that dog fights is inside the trees. DDC getting up to us at level six in July. Nighttime's coming up in the two minutes, so they have a bit of time. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Double damage or freeze. Considering rotating up to the top lane, dog fights trying for the shard block one more time. Couldn't exactly get it there. But over in the bottom lane, looks like they found that one pick off. Could be the pickoff. In July, should be dead here one more time, and down he goes, getting caught out. And this was despite having the ward over here. Try to back up in time, but it was too late. Sila, oh, almost cancelling his TP as he heads to the middle lane. And Yang also coming to throw out those liquid fires. Happy to start pressuring this tower. Doesn't have to worry so much. It is only level 1 missile. In the bottom lane, they will take themselves to the tier 1 tower. Double damage on Freeze and of course the Treants. But over in the middle lane, they have Fade and Yang. 
Can they fight this out here? Yang is dead. Sakata getting himself killed. Not fate, sorry. But Psylocke. The shards trying to trap him in, but he will actually get away to safety, pushing him out. Three is happy to start chipping into the tier two. That's a sick amount of damage. We have heroes. We will pop the darkness. Silence up. Do they have more heroes? Coming in, but they will immediately retreat VGJ Thunder as the top lane Miracle will start to siege. And they get a very nice ward over here, giving them vision around the shrine. So, 7 to 7. Yang getting his hits out here into Miracle. Still going for the Treads Aquila. Surprisingly, we haven't seen any smokes just yet, but we do see a couple of heroes converging out to this top lane, perhaps trying to get this tower last and fall. You know, they have the Jakiro, and you also have DDC on the Nature's Prophet. Breaking the tree and should be able to do some serious damage out here. But now we will see that smoke I was referring to. Free is trying to catch him out here. Does he have the blink? Yep, the snowball will connect. Always punch up, they time it nice, and dogfights will claim the kill onto Freeze. So rotation for the mid laner, very worth it. But meanwhile, top lane, the tier one is taken out. And all that is standing for the tier 1 tower is this middle lane tower. But I think they're pinging it out over here in the bottom lane. Silar is alone. The void, the snowball coming in. Do they have the worst punch? Looks like they won't need it. Here comes the stomp and with the call down, Sakata will claim the Silar kill. Top lane, they're actually gonna keep on going. They will go for a trade. A tier 2 for a tier 1 perhaps. But no, here comes the ET. In July is still kind of hanging around. Do they want to try and go back in for this? In July, could think, but the courier sniper is dead. Oh, the spell shield is there on the courier. And to back it off in the nick of time. So in July is not getting that lovely donkey. Not yet. And they will try to siege this tier one tower a bit. They need to start taking towers on IGV side. Because of the nature of the draft from VGJ Thunder, you know, they just sweep away the tier 1 towers very quickly. Like, if you look at the tier 2 as well, the double damage, it's really below half HP. Waiting inside the trees to support Nature's Prophet. Using the scan, they're gonna go in for this. Balls deep, and they will find Nature's Prophet. Snowballs deep, and down goes DDC. Middle lane, they're gonna keep on going as well for this tier 1 tower. IGV not able to handle the push, nor stop anything. The Nature's Prophet pick. Kind of working out still, if you think about it. Ice path, not sure who they're trapping, but the call down lane is there. The slow is as well. The rocket barrage gonna go into Yang. The homing missile comes out, the door breath will fly out. They have the point to slow him off with the stop, and down goes Yang. Here, Silar chasing someone, freezes there, Scream will connect, DDC coming in, right into Dogfights, trapping him inside with the Sprout, he will go for the optimistic TPR, the Sonic Wave comes out, Dogfights gets away to safety, Sakata will claim the region, he's gonna try and fight this, pop the drum charges, chance to cancel his region, Angel is walking to the name, na wrong neighborhood, three heroes there, and they will actually back out, but Freeze will claim the Dogfights kill, where did Dogfights die? Oh, he TP'd to the shrine, he didn't TP back to the fountain. So one for one trade, but VGJ Thunder still come out on top because of that tier one tower kill. That's what they needed. Miracle still trying to push away the top lane, and hasn't succeeded in doing so. But he has brought the tier one tower significantly low. Now we're gonna see another smoke coming out from IG Vitality. <coughs> Just right now, IG, they, they need to revitalize themselves, no pun intended, as you know, VGJ Thunder. They still can take the, the towers very quickly, which will open up the map for them, but I like how IGV are still maintaining the advantage on the kill score. Miracle, this will be the first time he's participating in these smokes. He has a Blink Dagger, this will be a very strong debut if he can only find the right target. Middle lane will be pushed out, but if you look at VGJ Thunder, they seem to know what's going on. The bottom lane is pushing out. There's no one there. The top lane is pushing out. There's no one there. So they know that IGV are kind of converged around that tier 1 tower and they will probably give away. Yang is there as well. Yeah, they're going, they, they know what's up. In July, he has the vision on Silar. Oh, but they will go straight for him. Avalanche toss combo and they will bring Silar down. That's a to claim the kill. Us for the throwing out for good measure. 
and they, may, they will make the call to go for the top tier 2 as the middle tier 1 will be taken by IG Vitality. And they're still hanging around there. It's no night time. They will take the tier 2. Freeze is TPing in. They might think about fighting here. And meanwhile, look at the base. Tier 3 tower under siege. TP out. They want to try to fight. Won't find anything. Fade. Splink dagger. Looking for some big epicenter plays this game. Freeze still maintaining his advantage at the top. Has the orchid. They will go for smoke. Could have ping on anything. There Dying wasn't a ward there, so there's no way they know about the smoke. But with their wards, they should be able to see that super is up there. They're pinging out curious. Yep, going in immediately, but they will have the shrine to go to, and they will back out. Free is getting a bit impatient. Kirill trying to build his way into that Yule Scepter. Yasha could be, he's going for the BKB first, good choice. Considering how much nuke damage there is on the side of VGJ Thunder, they still maintain an extremely slim lead. And IGV, this time in game 2, they have managed to adapt to the pace of the game a bit better. They have their own deep wards. Trying for smokes would not be too bad once the Gyrocopter gets his BKB up. Tiny, it's very hard to get these pickups, right? Like when you're so used to playing in C, you think you just get one blink dagger, you're going around, getting all these wonderful snipes. But not the case, because VGJ Thunder, they, I would say they're very practiced. They're very used to playing it against this, it seems. But already, VGJ Thunder, they are losing in the tower kill score, but IGV do have the advantage in towers. This is the last outer tower for the side of IG. Worthy tribute. And Freeze also trying to build his way into his BKB. 